exposed. Notice how that the prominence of the olecranon part of the uh, the olecranon process of the ulna is quite visible and subcutaneous. That's why you can feel that bony part. The only thing over there is your bursa. There's no muscle as such covering this region. Even the ligaments, as you can see, are not covering directly. So once we remove the fibrous capsule, we can then see how the cartilaginous end, highland cartilage end of the humerus is meeting with the cartilaginous end of the radius and as well as the ulna. You can even see a small bursa exists below the radius. It's a small synovial membrane. And the important thing is, look how the ulna is the one actually directly meeting with the humerus. The radius is forming part of the joint, but as you can see, there is a foot of a distance. The main articulation is actually with the ulna, actually. So it's a hinge, synovial type joint. Extension and flexion is done here. Not pronation and supination, that is separate. As well, as we've seen the muscles around the region, the ligaments. And again, the arteries and the, uh, nerves which pass around this region, they are the ones which supply the region. 